To complete the following task, we got to remember how can we define a rhombus. But the first thing that we know is that when it comes to rhombuses, all sides are equivalent to each other. So therefore, AB is congruent to BC, and that is congruent to DC, and that is congruent to AD. And now that we have that information, let's try to think about how we can solve the following. So let's concentrate on A. Within this information, we know that AB is a value of 7.5, which we have it here. And what we want to find the value of is the length of BC, where BC we can find it here. But well, we know that all sides within the rhombus are congruent to each other. So therefore, AB is congruent to BC. So therefore, we know that BC has a length of 7.5. Now let's think about how we can solve the following task. Here we are given that angle 3 has an expression of 6x plus 16, which you can find it here. And what we want to find information of is angle 4, which you can find it here. Now we got to think about, do we know any relationship among those two angles? We got certain properties here on the bottom. And the property that we're going to be using is the one that we have here almost at the bottom. Within a rhombus, diagonals bisect two angles. If we know that this diagonal bisects angle B, then we know for a fact that angle 3 is going to be congruent to angle 4. And if they are congruent, then we can set those expressions equal to each other. So now we got that 6x. So 16 is equal to 8x. And now this becomes an equation with which we can solve. Let me flip the order. So here we have 2x equals 216. And we can finish it up by divided by 2. And that gives us a value of 8. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.